Hey folks, this is Spooky Appalachia. We are in Grafton, West Virginia. About to take a look at the Grafton, West Virginia ghost tour with Diane. Ian Parker, I'm the curator of Gallery 62 West. Awesome. Can't wait to hear about some of these stories, see some of these places. Oh, here's Donald. And Cindy, <laughs> Cindy, our Cindy friend, behind the camera. Yeah, Cindy's behind the camera there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, this is a starting point. So, yes, we'll just do a little mini walk tour. Uh, yep. We're going to meet here tomorrow night at 9.30. And we're going to actually uh, talk about the legend of the Grafton Monster. And then we're going to talk about what's been happening in the Black Cat Rookery as Ooh. they are remodeling. Because some things are being unearthed and uncovered oh. and things happening. So there might be a future challenge in here. We might offer a little nice day. Oh. It's really brave. <laughs> You should see Cindy's face right now. Hang on. Yes. Look yes. at Cindy's face. Oh! <laughs> That's really cool. We will talk about that. And then, if you guys need help trying to figure out, I can help you with that. Yes, we do. And I will say, the stories that I'm telling, I've been told to me, and, you know, I'm gathering bits and pieces of more information. And that's kind of like pulling teeth and grafting, because sometimes you are tight-lipped. So I'm just talking about the things that I've heard, and the legends that I've heard, and the stories that I've actually read about, which are few and far between. So we hope to actually commit this to paper at some point. We're going to cross the road when it's safe to be there. See down over to have a perfect view of the railroad. And there is a lot of history. A lot of ghosts on the railroad, a lot of stories. But the particular one I'm, I'm going to be talking about was during the time in graphic history, there was a strike. And there were uh, company thugs that were hired, and the, the actual the public was siding with the strikers. So the strikers were actually even trying to protect the company property. And there was a, a certain signal man down there, so the legend goes. And he was trying to let the train know that there was some problems going on in the yard as the train approached. And I don't know exactly what happened with the story, but somehow he ended up decapitated. But you can still see the signal down there a lot. The red light oh. warning that there's problems in the track. So that that's is our cool. first stop on the tour. We've got one locally where uh, a guy supposedly passed out drunk on one and got decapitated by a train. Right. Yeah. See, I'm originally from Preston County. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah, we're here. Yeah. yeah, I was from Terre Haute, but I grew up here in that story. And then Petra's Glory, I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Outside of Terre Haute, you know that the husband was actually hung in the woods. And still alive. Right in the woods. Ooh. This is Ooh. the Trope Street. This is a fairly famous street from the past. Because this is where the ladies of the evening Live. Oh. We're going to talk a little bit more about where they work. Mm -hmm. One of the places where a lot of them Dog, you can stick a sticker right there. Oh, oh crap, it's on video. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I have you guys. I'm calling the cops. Oh, no. <laughs> what else? It's a crazy thing. <laughs> it's a coffee shop, not on it to my knowledge, but very well. Well, you can see, you may not see the great, but as you drive away, you'll see the orange witch's hat uh -huh. on the tower. Oh, up there at the top. Yes. I see it. Yes. It's actually pretty big, but it's not as big as it used to be. That just got replaced. That is supposed to be a Look how cool this guy looks at this. And actually locked the water in that tower. That's going to be good for me. Because she was trying to learn the old ways from her grand. She was becoming a witch, and her dad was not happy about it. And so he locked her in this tower, and then nobody knows whether she was met to her death or whether she was flushed. From that window up there? From that window. Oh, man. But now she resides in the Bloomwald Cemetery under the witch's grave. I the witch's hat and some uh, information on her. You'll notice this building is beautiful. And it has the uh, morning, uh, 
Go inside. This is the outside. We'll go inside. This is the outside. Oh, that lock. Who do you keep up there? This is the <laughs> floor that we want to remodel. This is the okay. third floor. Watch your step. The roof has been replaced. Oh, this does look good. It's uh, Lucy. Hang on to the rail. It is braced. I so love spooky. It won't fall mm. over. It is braced to the wall. So. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, spooky. Right? It does not even have electricity or water because that's how old the building is. Oh, this is cool. Mm -hmm. The windows are gorgeous. The oh, ceilings go there forever. You guys look creepy. What? <laughs> you guys look creepy. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot to. You hear all kinds of sounds when you're downstairs in the gallery. You hear walking around. You hear the sounds of music, and I'll tell you why. Uh, in this, this used to be actually a good call work at one point time. And then you have dances. I'm good. This is where the women on the show would work. And so you hear the music, you can hear people shuffling around, um, and you can even smell perfume, you smell cigars every once in a while. So it's pretty incredible. But as the story goes, that there was one particular bordello dancer, and she either made a wife jealous or a man jealous because she was not faithful. She was not loyal. Uh, and again, uh, she was strangled. And so we hear screams, we smell perfume, we smell cigars, and that is just one of the legends in this particular second floor. Third floor. Although we haven't seen any ghosts, we can go up there, but there is actually a honeycomb on the wall. Beehive, not honeycomb. And that is an old symbol for Masonic uh -huh. Lodge. And so, yeah, they used to meet upstairs. Oh, and so you've actually seen is, things? Oh, well, I've seen shadows. That is really cool. Yeah, I mean, that part's for real. I mean, it's for real because I work in this building a lot, and I used to work by myself. I even come up here in the winter time and put the candles. This is the only room that has electricity because of our outside lights that we had. Now. And I've seen things. Oh, <laughs> now what I have you seen? Here, I bring my husband. Oh, to oh, okay. I love the Masonic lodges. Like I'm investigating lodges. I can take you up there. It's, it, the stairway gets progressively creepier, but it's very sturdy. It just leaves. So I can take you up there. You can see the thing on the wall. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We can go up there. How cool is this? I love this. See what it means though. If we get enough money and get the funding for the grant and all that stuff, we could have artists and residents. We could have yoga. We have all sorts of things. If people are just waiting oh, would be to rent the space. Yeah. But the the windows, um, at least on this side, everywhere except for the back, are original. To the building. Wow. Yeah. Yes. You can see the shifting that has happened here and downstairs and yeah. certainly the staircase. But we're trying to keep as much original as we can. Again, there's stuff that's fallen off the ceiling. What's your step? Um, the steps are pretty sturdy, but there just might be stuff around. I wish I brought my boots. Right? Well. Yeah. Again, we won't go back that way. That's where new windows are. Um, it looks like that window is open again. I don't know how that one keeps opening. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So the windows are opening on the room, right maybe. Here. We won't go in that way, but we will go through this way. Wow. Is 
So, wow. you know, how much work we've done so far. Wow. There's some soft spots. Um, we've done a ton of work. We've got a ton more to do. But the roof itself is new. It's only about five or six years old. So, at least it's dry. <laughs> but we've got a lot to do. But yeah, that is the beehive. That's, that's awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. And again, the, the windows are incredible. You can look right here, be careful. But you can see forever here. And that, if you look straight across that part of the tower, that's supposedly where the witch was kept, right below the really creepy face. <laughs> oh! Isn't that neat? If you look around Grafton, there are gargoyles, there are creepy faces, there are all sorts of things in the architecture. I love that. Yeah, it is amazing. Look at the ceiling, like, look at the ceiling. It's pretty incredible. That's a good one. Ooh, yeah, it is. I want to do a ghost hunt up here sometime, but literally. I've heard things during the day. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. I'd love to set up my right. equipment. <laughs> Can you imagine? We should. Okay, we have to, like, I'll bring my equipment down sometimes when you want to just set up yeah. and just sit there. That'd be cool. I think it would be wonderful. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, you can see, like, the, the floors are separated from the wall somewhat, but we have things in the basement. I can show you that. The building has been propped up and Ooh. it's only moved an inch and three quarters in 150 years. Hmm. That's pretty good because yeah, the railroad is right there just shaking the yeah. heck out of it the whole time. I was going to say, could you feel it? Like, when the train oh, yes. There, could you, feel it? you could feel it and you could hear it. And luckily, one of those freak stores we had not too long ago, the building beside of us, Windows blew out into oh. the streets and just shattered everywhere, and I thought they were cool. here. But they were. They were next door. <gasps> so, again, be careful. Yeah. Very dark, very creepy. This right here, um, these big bolts, you can see the crack and see daylight. This used to be bolted to the building next to us oh but then they wow. took the whole top floor off of that building and so we were really concerned that that would i mean look how it's moved uh we were concerned that that would be a huge problem but actually they said that released some tension from this building hmm. and we just have to correct what is done so again walk sideways <laughs> hold on go slowly isn't it amazing yeah mm -hmm. This right here is just incredible. I love the woodwork. Oh, somebody shine a light on it. On what? On the woodwork so we can show it a little bit. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. It's I just love amazing. Work. And these, like, we. You can tell we, back in the day I spent a lot of time. Oh, my God. I mean, all of the. Everything. If you look at the side, I mean, look at this design. Yeah, it's and the stairwell. It's amazing. You don't find quality like this. No, people. it's just incredible. And this, like I said, we did just to shore it up, mm -hmm. make sure it wasn't going to go anywhere. Although it sits. So that's one of the creepy places. Even creepier is the basement. It's always the basement. Right. We're going yeah. <laughs> Every place we go to, they're like, wait till you see our basement. Right. We, we sell fried chicken, chicken out of it. Yeah, here, Jimmy's fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's fried chicken. I wouldn't worry that somebody will walk up and walk around you. Oh, oh, I should have taken a lock, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think about that. We've got a brand new door for this, too. Banging on the see. window. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll go into the gallery. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. You can pause it. Oh, oh yeah. This is the main gallery. This is where we have a new exhibit every oh, month. We do that two months out of the year. Um, this is a gift shop. This is what we lovingly refer to as the creepy hallway. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you why. Just up my alley. I love creepy. <laughs> and spooky. Go, spooky. <laughs> you want to go first in here? You want? No, I'll follow you guys. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Yeah. You want you want them to get me first. No, you got the camera. <laughs> it used to be 
able to go into a back part that was really oh, not yeah. safe. So we took that oh. out of the building that was built extra. Oh, that's cool. Not part of the original building. So, yeah, this is the creepy hallway. We hear all kinds of noises back here. These steps are really not safe on the very edge. So walk sideways. Walk sideways. Walk sideways. Turn that down. Walk sideways. Walk sideways. <laughs> Each pole right here are brand new pole. Hang on one second. Making our way. Hey, my little bandage thing. Very, very careful. These are brand new poles. Like this is original to the building. So is the other one there. But just to be safe, we added 12. Oh, yeah. That are holding up. Extra support. Maybe. Awesome. There's old steps that are not safe that used to oh, go yeah. upstairs. There is a door if you go that way. There are some of the old brown bottles here. Did y'all do all this by yourselves? Uh, we had a company do this part. Oh, okay. I was about to a say lot that of it really we've well done, done. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I see that this has electric, but a lot of the old brown bottles we found on these shelves. You can see this right here. Oh, uh, that's an old whiskey bottle or something. Yeah. No, that's a oh. Yeah. yeah. And there are old bottles everywhere. I will not take you into the other side because it's clearly yeah, not safe. Um, this reminds me a little bit of Ingles. Yeah, it does. You can, you can look through the door, but we won't go over there because there's all sorts of things. Well, more open. But here is where we found all of the prescription things. Like prescription the things? metal tubes are flat and huh. just waiting for salve to be put in them or some sort of. Remedy, yeah, so I don't know if you have the light or not. Like but. the st sweet spring stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Watch out, there's nails sticking yeah, out. Be, like, yeah, don't step on that. Oh, you're right. I stepped on nails before and it don't It's not fun at all, no. So come up here and shine your light that way. You could probably see. Oh, good gosh. Yeah, if you actually <laughs> walk in Whoa. and you look at that door, that's where the metal tubes are. I don't know how much I don't see. That used you. to be uh, a place for yeah. coal. There used to be Look at those old doors. Jimmy. Look at those old doors. And it's doors. in a truck. And it those goes all the way cool. out to the end. <gasps> that's that's and awesome. There's all kinds of cool, creepy stuff in there. That is awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. Just think, so. this is in I your think that town. Might be yeah, right I'm super there. excited. That's how it looks like. This yeah, is it's very it's cool. Old prescription oh, papers. yeah, let me try Those are old prescriptions that were written. Oh, that's cool. When it was a pharmacy. And so the ghost story we're going to tell about this place that is, cool. is the apothecary apprentice who was working with the pharmacist and trying to earn his way up the ladder, and he made some big mistakes oh, no. and poisoned some people. Uh-oh. so he's kind of doomed uh -oh. to just stay here uh -oh. and ask if I'm anybody <laughs> needs anything or if you know, he can serve anybody. That might just be oh. gas. Oh. <laughs> people to take a number and he'll be right with them and that's that noise that you hear that's people that's the noise when we that we when you're by yourself upstairs and we hear it upstairs Ooh. it's that same kind of noise we hear that we hear people actually walking across the floor we hear the old timey music Ooh. what do you think jimmy <laughs> i want to hear some old timey music right i can i can play you some music the way it sounds I can't really, I haven't recorded any other music, but, and again, pretty easy to do when it goes up and back, so it's not too bad right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how everything's growing oh. up. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. Very creepy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at these beams. They're Those, one piece. That is just amazing. It is incredible. Wow. Maybe I mean, one piece of hand hewn wood. Can you so imagine? This building will like, never fall down. No. <laughs> they don't make it like this no, anymore. They uh -huh. sure don't. Nope. You know, around. like this. Yeah. But, Can you uh, imagine? That's what I'm saying. Like, they check them every year and can't even imagine. Just make sure we don't lose any more on the tip. And then if you look at these, like, this is not like fake, you know, like the fake look. This is actual boards, that's, like, yeah, that they put. Real. That's <laughs> awesome. Real, real stuff. Can you imagine how much time that would take to. It's a I think it's incredible, but I'm biased. It is. <laughs> it's very it's incredible. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> printer. A wood it does wood. What's that way old? So that is the Grafton Ghost Tour. 
Thank you so much for showing us around, telling us these stories. Sure. Thank you for coming. Maybe oh, yeah. Come back anytime. Will do. I'm sure yes. Cindy will. Yes. <laughs> You'll definitely see me. Yeah. <laughs> Come and happen. Yes. Yeah, this so, is the very yeah. beginning, so stay tuned. And thank all, all y'all for watching. Yes. Hit subscribe. Yes. Jimmy and Donald are not getting out of the bathroom. <laughs> you guys are going to stay there for a long time. <laughs> Ooh, keep it up. I had to go in there blindfolded or something. <laughs>